All right, with the help of my subscribers, we got another ring return right here. Stay tuned, I'll tell you all about it. All right, I'm not making this stuff up. I can't make it up. I can't believe it. Number six right here. Looks like it's a high school ring 20. Can't read it right now, but we might be able to return that one. Man, unbelievable. Six, number six right there. Unbelievable. All right, let's keep it going. All right, if y'all saw the video back in August, uh, I found this ring right here on the beach. I'll put a couple pictures up on the screen of it. But uh, you think it'd be pretty easy to return a ring. They got, a, it has a name right inside, Taekwon Sellers, and it's got a Tay Tay written right on the side of it right here. I'll show you a picture. And it's got 2020, so you know it's a ring that's, uh, he's going to graduate in 2020. Uh, but anyway, I got the name of the school. I called the school, no response. Uh, I sent emails to two of the teachers on the school, no response. Uh, so I tried a couple more times over over time for over the year, and uh, no, didn't didn't ever have anybody return any calls or anything. Could, I did a lot of Google searching trying to find them, no help. So anyway, I I turned to my subscribers and one in one of my videos, I asked people to help me, and sure enough, uh, I think it was Susan Smith sent a thing that I found him on uh, Instagram. I said, okay, let me try that. So I texted him on Instagram and no response. And a lot of people create these accounts and they, you know, they never go check them or anything. So I started looking at some of the people that were following him. And the first one I tried, no luck. The second one, though, I hit pay dirt. Uh, it says, oh, yeah, he's my little cousin. I said, all right, we got contact. So uh, anyway, uh, she ended up contacting the mother. And uh, the mother called me. And sure enough, it, it was his. And I think I might have got him in trouble, though. He uh, he didn't tell his mother that he had lost it. <laughs> Please go easy on him. Please go easy on him now. Uh, I don't mean to get him in trouble. I'm trying to help him out. But uh, anyway, he um, what it is, he's from uh, Louisiana, I believe it is. And he actually has an uncle here in Virginia Beach, where I go to Tech all the time. He came up to visit his uncle. And sure enough, he went to the beach like everybody does. And fingers get wet and get slippery. And next thing you know, your ring falls off into the sand. And he actually lost, I think, three months prior to me finding it. So this ring had been uh, floating around in the sand there for three months before we actually picked it up, which is kind of interesting. But um, anyway, I, I talked to his uh, um, mother for a while, and she was telling me how she's very appreciative that we did find it, and she's going to get it back to him. But uh, she told me I could just give it to uh, his uncle here in the beach that he had been visiting at the time. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down there and deliver this ring so he can get it back to the owner. So anyway, let's go ahead and get our stuff together and get down there and return it to his uncle, who will in, in turn return it to Tay Tay. All right, stay tuned. Well, I'm finally glad to come across John here. How you doing? John is uh, Tay Tay's uncle, and this ring right here is getting ready to get returned. Not to the right phone, it's going to get returned to the right phone, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, John? Yeah. All right, tell me a little story about how uh, this ended up getting lost. I took Tay Tay swim. Tay Tay's from South Carolina. He visits me every every summer. Gotcha. So last summer he came to visit me, and I decided to take him swimming at night. Oh, nighttime so, swimming. Yeah. So we went swimming okay. at night, and and um, Tay Tay had his ring on. And I, when we was on our way there, I told him to take his ring off. He was so excited he forgot. <laughs> so I hear like, he got excited. <laughs> oh, he was so excited. So about thirty minutes later, I saw him looking around. I go, Tete, what happened? He says, "Man, I lost my ring." Oh man, he wasn't upset, was he? Oh, he was crying because he goes to he went to this special school. Right. Yeah, I saw that on there. Yeah. Yeah, and they graduated at sixth grade, and they graduate from one school to go to the next. And right. It's, um, I forgot the name of, it. but anyway, they was closing the school down. Mar Marlboro School of. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it right there. I see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was closing the school down. That's why I couldn't get a hold of them. Then the school's closed down. That's correct. So they that's why I couldn't ever get them because I, I kept sending emails. I called, nobody answered. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah, because he they, they closed it. Okay. And so I told Tay Tay I made a promise with him. I said, if you find out where the, your mom ordered the ring from, I would buy you another one. Right. But it was too scared to tell his mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I talked to his mom, and uh. She get, she got on. She says, "He never told me he lost that ring." <laughs> she, and right after that, I was talking to him. I go, "You didn't tell your mom?" He said, "No, man. I was too afraid to tell her." <laughs> he was afraid to tell him he, he lost. He was scared to. But death. she seemed like a really good mom. I know she takes care of her kids. Just talking to oh, her, yeah. I can tell. 
But you're going to help him get out of trouble, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Always, okay, always. you got to help him now. Yeah, I get him every uh, summer. Every <laughs> summer he comes to visit me. Well, I, don't want, I didn't mean to get him in no trouble over there. <laughs> nah, he's He'll fine. be glad to get back there, right? Oh, yeah, he's fine. Uh, he's fine. The school he go, went to, he's going to now um, is a regular school. I got you. Okay. So I'm talking to his mom now to try to get her to let him come here because they have another. Have a, a school here? Yeah, a school okay. here. The same thing. So hopefully it takes care Cool deal. So, well, yeah. He go can ahead. come and visit you. <laughs> there you go. I do want to see him. I do want to see him with this in his hand and a smile on his face. Okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, well, we're going to return it to John right now to get All back right. to Tay Tay. Uh, I'm glad we are able to return the ring to the rightful owner. Well, we had another successful ring return for the Geek Master. Uh, well, not totally yet. We gave it to uh, Tay Tay's uncle, who's going to get it to him. He actually lives in South Carolina. I might mention he lives in Louisiana, I think. I think that's where his. Um, cousin lived that I actually ended up contacting but he actually lives in South Carolina and he's coming up here this summer to uh, visit with his uncle so he either, either get it then in June or he may mail it to him I'm not sure yet but we'll get a picture with Tay Tay holding a ring for it's over with so anyway I appreciate everybody coming along with me on that awesome uh, return uh, don't forget to click like comment below share and subscribe to the Gigmaster. you never know where we're going next thanks for coming along